Hello. I pray that you're well today. Emotions. Have you ever just felt nothing? Like you had no interest? You were bored. Bored with life. Bored with what's next. Bored with the same. Bored with seeing no purpose or meaning or value or worth. Just bored. Have you ever been just bored? And in fact, you had no motivation to make any changes or any difference or any reality at all. You know what God says? God says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And a question we should ask ourselves, what on earth am I here for? What is the God-given cause that I'm here on this planet to do? It doesn't mean that everything's always exciting. It doesn't mean that everybody always applauds. It doesn't mean that everybody always gives fanfare, but it does mean that we work at whatever we are to do with all our heart as serving God and not people. Colossians 3.23, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as serving the Lord, not people. Because even if it's what we think is boring, we can't see the larger picture. We can't see how it fits in to the larger picture. I, I, I say this to you. The truth is, you and I, our, our life, the influence of our life lasts beyond our life. It lasts beyond our life and the people that we love. It lasts beyond the li our life and the things that we do for God. In the building of God's kingdom now, what influence will it be later? I, I simply give you an example. I'm grateful to God for the schools that that we have the privilege of being connected to, Christ Lutheran School and Valley Lutheran High School, there are far-reaching consequences for people's lives, young people's lives, to hear the message of Jesus. And later on in life, even after they've done twists and turns in life, they come back. So sometimes we're bored because we don't see the largest picture. and We only see what's right in front of us. When in fact... Your life and my life, God doesn't waste. God doesn't waste the abilities he gives us. God doesn't waste the influence. God doesn't waste the leverage that occurs. God doesn't waste. You have a purpose and a meaning. You are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. There are people in your path today that God wants you to love and care for and build up. Now, you might be bored. You might not see it with your eyes, but I want you, I encourage you to see from God's perspective, from heaven's perspective, what's at stake, what matters. That every person you meet has a soul that is of eternal consequence and of eternal value. Therefore, May God open our eyes clearly that we are hardly bored, but extremely excited, leaning in to what God has next for us to do to lift up his holy name. Please pray with me. Lord God, may we never be bored. May we always see life the way you do. The creator of the universe, the one who wants a relationship with everybody on this planet. And may you use us mightily to do so. We pray for it. We ask you for it. Emotions, Lord God, are confusing. May you teach us truth that in the midst of our confusing emotions, we can know the path and the way to go. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God's grace to you today. And in fact, you and I are on God's path, doing God's work for God's reasons maybe we don't even see all of the connections. We certainly don't. But we do it as we desire to please God. God's grace to you.